Welcome to my gaming setup and room tour for 2022. Hopefully this video will give you some inspiration for your own gaming setups at home. Everything will be linked down below in the video description if you want to check anything out. Those links do help support the channel so I appreciate it if you use them. Because this is a large room, I do have a lot of different gaming stations. My main desk setup, my console area and also my YouTube set. First, let's start with my gaming consoles. I have both the Xbox Series X and also the PS5 hooked up to an LG CX 55 inch OLED TV. I bought this back in November 2020 on Black Black Friday and it has been the greatest purchase I have ever made. It supports 4K 120 gaming via the HDMI 2.1 connections and it has four of these inputs which future proofs it for connecting other gaming consoles I may buy in years to come. In addition the LG CX has excellent image quality thanks to the OLED technology and the HDR support is first class. I have mounted the TV to a next level racing monitor stand. I like that this is height adjustable but also that it is on wheels so I can move it around if needed. But more more importantly, this monitor stand can support a triple screen gaming setup. And in the future, I hope to add two more 55 inch displays to create a surround gaming experience for my racing simulator and create a setup that looks a little bit like this one. On the topic of the racing simulator, this is the next level racing GT track. Currently, I am obsessed with racing games and it's all that I am playing. For my steering wheel, I recently purchased the Fanatec DD Pro and it's definitely on the higher end. My favorite feature is that this works on every single platform that I game on. It's compatible with the PS4, the PS5, Xbox, and also PC. All you gotta do is just switch out the wheel rim depending on the platform you're playing on. However, the GT Track is also really comfortable for long gaming sessions with a controller. And with how I have it positioned in front of the TV, it can be transformed into the perfect hardcore gaming cockpit that is both comfortable and also competitive. Next, let's take a look at what's on my shelves. Now I get so many comments from people asking where did I purchase these shelves from and I actually got them on Amazon and they were only £130 each, which I thought was exceptionally great value considering how good they actually look because stuff like this from a normal furniture store is like 500 600 pounds it's extortionate on these shelves i have all of my xbox controllers along with my gaming consoles now for the xbox series x i am using the seagate expansion card which i think is completely worth it and for my ps5 i'm using an external hard drive which is the seagate six terabyte hard drive which allows me to just store all my ps4 games on there and transfer them between the internal storage i haven't upgraded the internal storage on my ps5 yet because i just can't be bothered opening it up and installing all of the PlayStation operating system. It's just too much faff and I just would rather play the games. I also have a whole bunch of Lego on these shelves because I thought they would look really cool for my YouTube set. So I've got the Lego 8080, the massive $800 set that released last year. I've got R2-D2, some of the Lego helmets, a whole range of different things. But something really cool that I recently purchased were these swinging sticks. These things are insane. They make the room feel really relaxed and they look awesome. Next, let's talk about this YouTube setup. This is the view that I see whenever I'm filming a YouTube video and everything's hooked up to a camera switcher and I can control this camera switcher using my feet which makes it really efficient and using some very clever software hooked up to my Blackmagic camera switcher, my Elgato Stream Deck and also my foot switch all via the network these devices can talk to each other. Then once I finish filming my YouTube video, I can go ahead and stop recording and everything is saved directly onto an SSD. I can then take this SSD and plug it straight into my gaming computer and start editing. And for the cameras that I am using, they are all made by Sony. I own three A6400s, I own three Sony ZV-1s, and I also own a Sony ZV-E10, which is my personal favorite out of all of those cameras. And finally, for my audio and lighting setup, I'm using the Amaran 100Ds, which are made by Aperture but they're from their cheaper line because they're more plastic than metal and for my microphones I'm using the Sennheiser MKE 400 shotgun mic which sounds incredible and more recently I purchased the Shure SM7B which is perfect for recording voiceovers, online courses and also live streaming. Because there are so many computers and desks in this setup we've got the M1 Mac Mini, the beautiful M1 iMac and also two gaming PCs I need some additional desk chairs. So I reached out to Next Level Racing to see if they would send me one of their brand new pro gaming chairs. 
These are designed to create the most comfortable gaming session ever. The solid construction and high quality materials offers a wide range of adjustability with an ergonomic design. This pro gaming chair lets you find the perfect position for maximum performance. And compared to my more expensive $700 Herman Miller chair, I love the fact that the armrests are locked into position and don't slide around while you're gaming. But my favorite feature is the attention to detail. Just look at this stitching. It closely replicates a high-end motorsports vehicle whilst being elegant and subtle, which is something that we don't usually get from gaming chairs. Usually they're really loud and hideous colors. It is also very comfortable with great weight distribution and has an included lumbar support and neck pillow. Next, let's talk about the lighting setup. This is something that I get asked a lot about in the comments. And these cool tube lights that I use are from Nanlite. And they are the Pavo Tube 2 30Xs. And I have four of these located around the room. I must admit that these are very expensive because they are intended to be used on cameras so they don't flicker like LED lights often do. So if you do want some lights that look very similar for maybe your living room or your bedroom, I'll link to some much cheaper alternatives on Amazon that do the job. However, other lights in this room are way more affordable. I've got these Aperture B7Cs RGB bulbs that create very nice ambient light, but I also use them as spotlights for my guitar collection. And finally, we have my main desk setup where I spend most of my time. This is where I edit all of my YouTube videos and I try to keep this as simple as possible. I have one single super ultra wide monitor, which is the Samsung Odyssey Neo G9, which is the equivalent to having two 27 inch monitors side by side. I also have a Sonus Beam 2 soundbar, which sounds tremendous and works really well in this setup, along with my main editing computer and also my Mac Mini. All of this is placed onto a FlexiSpot sit stand desk with an IKEA worktop on it. To see the full build and all of the details of this desk setup, you should watch this video next, where I try to build the cleanest desk setup in the world that is cable free.